Brahma in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And Toronto has possession. And an OB in at the forward with Barnes next to him. Then there's Tobias Harris. Then it's Porter. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Now here's Porter. That one goes in. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for San Antonio. Spurs passing it around. Puts up a three. Rebound by the Raptors. Feeds to Barnes. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Good work inside. Barnes showing how skilled he is close to the rim. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. And just 72% from the line a season ago. Not the greatest of numbers, but there are guys who are far worse off when it comes to free throw shooting. On the free throw, no good. San Antonio leading by 21 to the left side wing. Vassell, no good. Toronto shooting 43% from the floor. And there's the pass to Trent. Sinks the three-pointer. Trent's got 10. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Now, here's Vassell, defended by Trent. He gets it in there. Devin Vassell. 12 points for him. Taking advantage of the defense. Devin got inside, and you see what happened. Ananobi kicks to Porter. Trent outside. Pass to Williams. And here's Porter. Dinwiddie covering. Four on the clock. Barnes trying to free himself up. And that one's good by Porter. They couldn't have asked for a better start to this half. Offensively, four straight and counting. Here's Sohan. He's guarded by Williams. And it's Sohan missing. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Porter passes to Williams. Poked away. Pass to Trent. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Defense wow, five straight buckets coming out of that. Second rolling. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Shooting for Toronto, Gary Trent Jr. One shot. The free throw drops for Trent. Solid from the line. Trent Jr. an all-around score. Dinwiddie kicks to Vassell. Here is Mr. Incredible, covered by Barnes. Here's Mr. Incredible, banked in off the glass. Mr. Incredible's got nine points. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Now, here's Trent. He's got 13. they outside, and he's good on the three ball. Porter's got five points now in the quarter. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And he converts the lane. And the Spurs lead by 16. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they've executed. Now, here's Ananobi. Porter passes to Trent. On the wing, Ananobi. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got three assists tonight. And 
they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Porter. San Antonio calls timeout. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. The Spurs making a switch here. San Antonio leading by 11. Passes to Vassell. From the arc. Knocks down the three ball. He's got nine. Three. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. The pass to Anano. Back to Porter. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Porter, no luck. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Number firmly one. in the driver's seat. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Pass to Ananobi. Back to Porter. Pass to Ananobi. To the inside. And out of bounds is San Antonio in his possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Spurs leading by 16. Passes it to Mr. Incredible. Williams with the steal. A steal. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Very pretty alley Williams. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. Now, here's Trent. He's got 13. Williams kicks to Trent. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Gary Trent Jr. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for San Antonio. They are dominating the paint in this one. Consistent work inside throughout the game. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. First free throw is good. Some changes for Toronto. Achua comes in for Williams. And Tobias Harris subbed in for Scotty Barnes. Then for the Spurs. Johnson comes in for Mr. Incredible. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Dinwiddie. Both good from the line that time. Toronto trails by 20. Outside Porter. Harris kicks to Porter. Now here's a chew up. Defense is right there. Clock at four. Will it go? And again, no good by Toronto. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. You know, Steve, the persistent growth of Keldon Johnson is pretty impressive. Toronto. It is, Kevin. He is obviously receptive to good coaching and is committed to finding success here in the league. Almost across the board, you see his stats creeping up season to season. For San Antonio, they have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. Chris Boucher is checked in for Toronto. The Spurs also with the sub. Primo is checked in. <laughs> Toronto calls timeout. Let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. 
because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Toronto, they've gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Back to Porter. Trent outside. Achua kicks to Porter. And there's the pass to Boucher. Shot clock at three. And again, Toronto no luck. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it work. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Harris outside. Pass to Boucher. Trent kicks to Boucher. Here's Harris. Back to Boucher. They need this one. That one doesn't go. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Number I'll one. tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Back to Porter. Three-pointer. Johnson with the rebound. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And Boucher sends it back. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. Hands the shot from the wing. Porter's got 14. And we know Kevin Porter Jr. is capable of having big nights. And the way he's playing, this could be one. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Guarded by Harris. Wide open look, and he connects Victor, with the jumper. Number one, 25 assist points in the game. Two. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Porter finds Achua. Now, here's Trent. A three-pointer no good. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not number there one. offensively. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Back to Porter. Harris outside. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Spurs. They get to take on the Magic in Orlando after this one. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. And it goes down two points. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Pass to Harris. Toronto working the ball around now. Boucher passes to Porter. And the Raptors miss again. San Antonio's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Driving yeah, to the basket. Sad. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Trent outside to end the run. And that's two points on the layup. Trent's got 15 points. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Sinks that one from the post. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Passes it to Harris. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. An all-around handful to deal with. Tobias with a strong move with a potential plus one. For Toronto, they have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. Tobias Harris, one shot.
That's good from Harris. Here's Primo. And so it's San Antonio with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we'll be back with you shortly. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court right now for the Spurs, we've got Devontae Graham. Black Hole is out there with Kem Birch. And it's Primo in at the two. And it's Sohan missing. Raptors shooting in this game, 45%. Down low. Barnes down low. And he three. gets the whistle for the three-second call. The goes to and when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is, a lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. And the Raptors making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Doug McDermott, he's checked in for San Antonio. Bring him against Flynn. Here's McDermott. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Here's Toronto now. And here's Jackson. The pass to Flynn. Now, here's Boucher. Pass to Jackson. Releases. Toronto gets it back with a new 14. And uh, San Antonio shooting 71% all in all in this one. They've been brilliant offensively. Now here's McDermott, covered by Flynn. Toronto and foul. there's the foul. It'll go on Malachi Three. Flynn. First personal foul. That is his first foul first of the game. Foul. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Pass to Sohan. Out to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Graham. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Bring him against Flynn. He kicks it to Jackson. Outside Flynn. Let's it fly. And again, no good by Toronto. And I'm sure next time he sits down, Coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Jackson passes to Flynn. Toronto working the ball around now. Boucher kicks to Jackson. And they get it back. Goes back up. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Defensive foul. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-precise looks from inside. And for coaches' challenges, the refs review their own call. It's a little like grading your own test. Maybe, Greg, give that job to the review center. You, you definitely risk a confirmation bias, and, and everyone wants to be right. It, it does seem like some calls stand that 
probably could be reversed. And that one misses. And Jackson certainly has a lot of explosiveness. One of those guys who really wears his heart on his sleeve and brings that energy level every night. Outside Flynn. Pass to Jackson. All alone. He clangs that one off the Jackson back iron and, and down it falls. And Jackson isn't bashful about pulling up from the mid-range. He time just time has time a time nice time looking time stroke out. from that spot on the floor. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Making a switch here. Banton's checked in. On defense, the Raptors. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. McDermott with it. Hernan Gomez on him. Poked loose. Just five on the clock. They get the rebound. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. He's trying to help his team shut the door. They don't want to allow any comebacks. Here's Banton. From deep. San Antonio with the rebound. Inside, here's Graham. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Undersized Graham showing he's relentless inside. The pass to Benton. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs, it's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. Right wing. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. It's going to be on Precious Achua. Shooting for San Antonio. Malachi Bronham. Two shots. The first one falls. Impeccable from the line since halftime. He makes one of two that time. Toronto, they've gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. A nice shot by Flynn. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. 
Out to the right wing. Now here's McDermott. He's guarded closely. Bring him against Flynn. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Toronto's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Here's Banton, covered by Birch. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. And even with the ratings going foul. strong, the younger generation's often cord cut. How does the NBA Number engage that 16. audience? Kevin, I think making Two game shots. action trend on social media and when big moments happen for uh, maybe a small fee, allow people to be a part of it. It's like highlights, but live. First free throw is good. Jones checked in for Devontae Green. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And it's Jones with the ball for San Antonio. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second personal foul. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. At the line for two. No good on that one. And the media is able to vote on awards like all rookie. But, Greg, those awards can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is. But somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hands. And the second free throw, good. The Raptors have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Pass to Flynn. Here's Banton. Down to five on the shot clock. Shots good by Hernan Gomez. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Out left to the wing. Jones, the pass to Primo. Back to Jones. Latrey. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Uh, late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage grows their lead you can't afford to give him space those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game now here's Flynn lays it up off the glass Flynn's got five points in the quarter and giving up some inches inside but makes up for it with an aggressive style and that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up McDermott with it. Hernan Gomez covering. On the wing, Jones. And the basket is good. Jones has got his first points in this one. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. And again, Toronto with the triple. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. And every year, it seems like outcomes in the playoffs can hinge on health. 
Steve, it's part of the game, as you well know. It is, Kevin, and we hate it because obviously health can change the direction of a series or a team. But the one thing teams are doing a better job is they are lengthening and going deeper into their bench. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded a easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Here's Jones after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. We've got 148 left here in the fourth quarter. The shot by Primo, no good. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Misses the three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for San Antonio. They simply ran him off the court. They set the pace, and their transition game was executed flawlessly. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. Now here's McDermott. Spurs passing it around to the left wing. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. Two points. That one goes. Yeah, they suck the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. The shot's good. On the heels of this run, you wonder where was this effort earlier on? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now? Or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Jones looking for an opening. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. The to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight the says that they break an awful lot about this team. team. I, I guess Please they don't sure need home. Home. <laughs> they <don't> <laughs> at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.